there are different ways we can solve problems using a computer. And for example, if we want to compute the sum of these numbers, well, one way we can do it is using a for loop, which involves basically adding these numbers individually n times. So this method requires n operations. On the other hand, recognizing it as an arithmetic series and recalling we derived the sum as n on 2 by the sum of the first term and the last term in the series. So this method requires an addition, multiplication and division. So that's three operations. Now if we look at a problem where we calculate a polynomial and we'll only look at the multiplications that are performed because the number of additions and subtractions are the same using both methods. So the first method is brute force. So this polynomial has a degree of n equals 3. So to calculate the multiplications, we have n operations. And for this term, we have n minus 1 operations up to 1 operation and 0 operations. So the sum of operations can be written as follows for a general polynomial. And we ignore the zero and recognize this as an arithmetic series. So we can calculate the number of operations as n on 2 by the first term in a series plus the final term. If we write this series in reverse, and therefore this gives n on 2 plus n squared on 2 operations. Now the other method is to use Horner's algorithm. So here we have one multiplication, another multiplication, and three multiplications. So therefore, using Horner's algorithm, we have n operations. So Horner's algorithm is a lot more efficient than using brute force. And another example is searching the numbers in an array. And we'll look for the worst case scenario where we're trying to find the number 12, which is the final number in the array. So using a for loop, going through every one of those numbers, that requires n queries. So this requires comparing the target number that we want to find, being 12, with every one of those numbers in the array. And the other method is a binary search, which we'll look at in more detail later on. But the basic idea is that after each iteration, the list of numbers that are compared with the target after each iteration, keep being cut in half. So basically in the first iteration, we have a list of n numbers, and after the next iteration, we have a list of n on 2 numbers to compare against, and then n on 4, and so on. So the binary search algorithm requires log n queries. And it becomes a lot more efficient when the number of items in the array, being 8 in this case, become much larger. And the goal is really to compare expressions involving n when n becomes large. Please subscribe, like and comment to help me reach more students.